Paul, not the result we wanted, but a better performance. Yeah, I think um, I think the performance deserved something, um, but we've given we've just given really poor goals away today. Um, first one, I think he's had a little bit of luck, mishit shot that, that just squirms into to Alfie May's path. Um, we just haven't reacted well enough for the second the second goal is to throw in and we've not squeezed high enough up the pitch to, to, to make us nice and compact, which we were for long periods of the game. Uh, the third goal is a mistake. Um, I, I mean, it's one of them things. We, we've just got to clear our lines in that position. Um, and I think the players have worked extremely hard today and probably deserved something out of it. But unfortunately, we go away with nothing again, which is the story of our season. Deserved to go ahead when we did, and it was a good finish from Luke. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we started the game really well. Um, I mean, for long periods, I thought, I thought we looked decent. I thought our, our shape was good. I thought the plan that we had was good. Um, I was pleased with a lot of the things. Um, I mean, Harry Lewis has pulled off some fantastic saves for us, real good saves to, to keep us in the game, which you're going to expect when you come into a side, a place like Charlton, a side who's six games you know, unbeaten coming into it. We're going to have to do that. So it's just disappointing that we'll go away with nothing again for, for the magnificent support that we've had today. All three goals disappointing. Um, a case of being our own worst enemy? Um, I would certainly say that for the third goal, yeah. Um, I mean, the first goal, I really think he's had a bit of a look, a bit of luck because we, we're in good areas, um, <clears throat> and the lad that can who's hit a shot, that's it's going way wide, it, it, and we get close enough to get a block, but it just happens to go into Alfie May's path, um, and you can't give somebody like him opportunities like we've done today um, because they're going to punish you. Uh, but as I say, there was a, there was a lot of good things. We can take a, we can take some confidence from the way we've gone about it today. Um, pleased with with some individual performances. Uh, as I say, Harry, I thought Dylan McGeoch got on the ball and passed the ball well for us. Harrison had another game, a good game. Good for Luke to get a goal. Um, so there's there's a lot of good things out there. Um, it's just that. Is it, is it a fine margin or is it a bigger than bigger than a fine margin that we're actually doing ourselves over and when you do that you end up with nothing? One of those good things was that we kept going right to the end, we just couldn't get that third goal. Yeah, we did, yeah. We, we just tried to, to just ask them to go and keep being brave and I thought we were brave the way we played. Um, but you, you, you can't afford to give teams a leg up when they're playing with confidence and they've got good home crowd supporting them and, and we've given them a leg up today. Josh Villa, Vella missed out. What was his injury? Yeah, he's got a um, bit of an issue with his with his knee, um, so he wasn't fit to travel with us. Um, we were hoping he was going to be okay. We, we, in fact, we were hoping he was going to be able to run today, but I, I'm I'm led to believe that he hasn't run back in Carlisle. So we're just going to wait and see how he is for uh, for Tuesday. Um, but as I said, I thought Dylan came in and did really well for us today. Long way for the fans and trains cancelled and all sorts of stuff, but they were great again. Oh, I mean, it's a horrendous day for them when I heard about the trains cancelled this morning and then trains cancelled tonight. Um, the uh, the rail service doesn't make it easy for our supporters with the, with the travelling they have to do, but what, what an incredible number and they stayed with us and they backed us right through to the end. And I think they could see that there was a... There was an intent from the players today to, to go and try and get ourselves back in it. I think they could see there was an intent to go ahead. Um, then we get the penalty, which I thought was a penalty. Taylor sticks it away really well. So I think they've seen a lot of good things, but unfortunately they've gone away as disappointed as we are. Barnsley on Tuesday, positives to take from today into that? Well, only if we go and do it again. Yeah, there are. We've, you know, far too many times we've uh, we've had a good performance and then let ourselves down, particularly at home. So we know it's a tough game. A team who are chasing promotion, um, but we're at home and we've got to make sure we approach it properly. We, we, we've got a long journey back tonight, like the fans. We're back in tomorrow morning to get get recovered um, and start the preparation for Barnsley. Be nice to get a home win for the fans as well. Well, I take any win. Um, I think it would be nice to get an away point today, and um, that we've let ourselves down on that one. Um, but yeah, we we we've got to. I think we've, we're getting a bit of pride back with that type of performance today and a, and a bit of respect back, but let's do it in front of our own fans as well. We need to give our home fans something. They've been magnificent all season. They've stayed with us. You know, I talked about it the other day, we're averaging 8,500, which is the, the best for many, many decades. Um, but we're going to have to give them something. We're going to have to give them a performance to start with um, and hopefully get a result. Thanks, Paul.